Hi, welcome to Easy Photoshop Tutorials. I'm Mr. PSD File, and today we're going to be going over the Slice tool in Photoshop CS4. Okay, go ahead and open up Photoshop. And I've already got three buttons that were uh, made before. If you want to know how to make buttons similar to this, it's pretty simple. Uh, you can check out the tutorial on Web 2.0 buttons that I recently released a little bit earlier. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first you want to go ahead and get your uh, slice tool selected, uh, which is the C hotkey. And what the slice tool does is allow you to save these files separately as uh, different images. So if you were working on a bunch of stuff for, say, the web, and you needed a bunch of small little uh, JPEGs or GIFs. You could go in and you could do them all in, on this one canvas and you could go in and select your slice tool and make a selection around all of your uh, your creations and save them as uh, different files. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First, go ahead and click and drag your slice tool around the edge of the button so as close as you think you can get it. and go around all of them like so okay now that that's done what we're gonna do is uh, zoom in try to make sure we got everything that we need selected okay so in order to select your previous uh, selection you go into the slice selection tool and you kind of go in and you grab and you can move your selection around to where you want it Okay, all right, we've gotten that done. Uh, I actually already have, uh, I had toggled those off. Uh, and you can go up and take those lines off right here if you want to. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom out. And you can see your buttons or whatever your selection is, is nicely selected to the way that you want it. Now from here with the slice selection tool, we still can go in and we can double click each uh, image that we've uh, made our boxes around and we can name those different things. Like so. All right, and also inside of these uh, slice options, you can embed other stuff in, inside of it, and it'll make Photoshop do HTML. Uh, I've never really done it, but what I've heard is that this really isn't as well because it's not too good for Photoshop to want to create HTML. It's not the best, so I don't recommend doing it. Um, and if you have the dimensions. The specific dimensions of whatever your creation is you can come in and edit your selection to the exact uh, X and Y axis and width and height all right we're gonna go ahead and click OK now from here what we can do is go ahead and go up to save for web and you can go in and select each one separately and you'll notice that they are all saved as gifts automatically by default 
and you can go in and change whichever ones you choose to like so okay now if you want to select all of your buttons that are in here you can hold down the shift key and then select all three buttons all right now we're going to go ahead and click save and you want to find a place that you plan on saving your stuff to and for me i'm just going to do it right on my desktop and we're going to change the name to Okay. Now you can save it as a format. You only want the images. You don't want the HTML that's in those buttons. So you're gonna go to settings next, and you're just gonna leave it as default settings. And under the slices tool, you can add all slices, user slices, or selected slices. Uh, we're gonna use all user slices just because um, even though there isn't anything else in this image on the image uh, but if you do have other items maybe names uh, while you're working that you created to go up under them uh, you're gonna want to use user slices because Photoshop if you select all slices it'll want to go ahead and uh, try to edit the rest of the image and slice those pictures as well so stay with all user slices or select the slices if you want to come in and change uh, one of these buttons separately, which you can do. All you just have to do is make sure you have that selected slice and go to save and come here to select the slices. All right, go ahead and hit save. And let's check it out as soon as it's done working. There we go. And and then we have it. We have all three separate uh, images that we want, like so. And you can go in, open them up, and you can still uh, edit them, long as those slices are still within the selection that you had using your slice tool. This has been an easy Photoshop tutorial. I'm Mr. PSD file. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.